Hi, friends. Mr. Sali, I hope you're having a great day. And today we are going to read a few pages of a book that we already know a good amount about, our friend Jane, the one who loves the animals. We are going to break it down and think about what a paragraph is. Our main skill today will be learning about what a paragraph is and knowing how to find a piece of information based on what paragraph it is on the page. The books, or the book I should say that we're gonna look through, has a lot of pages with more than one paragraph. So we're gonna watch a quick video here and then we're gonna find some pages in the story and learn how to look for different pieces of information in the text using paragraphs. What is a paragraph? A paragraph is a group of sentences that develop one main topic or idea. So we already know what a paragraph is. We know what main topics are. We know what main ideas are. The paragraph is what it looks like when they're all together. Quick example, friends. This book about storms, this is a paragraph. It is a collection of sentences. It is a group of sentences, just like our buddy here just told us. The topic of one paragraph should follow logically from the topic of the last paragraph and lead to the topic of the next. So, paragraphs work together. They're all related, they're all tied and connected by one common topic or idea. Why do we use paragraphs? Academic writing is divided into paragraphs. If your writing is one continuous text, it will be difficult to read. Therefore, your work needs paragraphs. Reading and writing is very, very hard to do if your work is not broken into paragraphs. So we're gonna cut this short now, friends, and we are going to start looking at our own paragraphs and think about how we can find pieces of information. So this is a story about Jane Goodall. We've read about her when school was in class and in our classrooms, in our homerooms, in our hallways. We learned about Jane and how she loved animals and drew and writ, wrote about animals as a young girl. Now we are going to look through the book and find a few pages that give us multiple, which means a lot of different paragraphs. This is the first page. I'm going to read and I'm going to help point out the paragraph. The Watcher. As a young girl, Jane Goodall loved to watch animals and read stories about them. She dreamed of living in Africa one day and writing stories about wild animals. So here, I see two paragraphs. I see one paragraph, the first part, that talks about the idea of Jane loving animals and reading about them at a young age. Then the next paragraph goes into a similar topic and it goes one step deeper. It talks about her dreaming of living in Africa. And we know that Africa is full of animals. So the first paragraph talked about Jane wanting to go watch animals and the next paragraph gave us another level of that idea. It took that idea one step further. It gave us support that she wants to go to a place that has many animals because in the first paragraph, we learned that she loved to watch animals. So to bring that back, friends, paragraph one gave us a lot of info about Jane wanting to watch and read about animals. 
And then paragraph two gave us more info about how she was going to make that happen and where she was going to do that. So we skip forward in the book a little bit and we start to go into the idea and into the reality of Jane actually working and living in Africa studying animals. Let's read these two paragraphs and learn about how we can find that info. Jane's work made some scientists think again about their old beliefs and ideas about chimp. chimps. So the first paragraph here tells us that Jane had a different way of thinking about chimps. So the first paragraph has to be connected to the next one. The first group of sentences is always going to be connected some way by a common idea to the next group. They saw that some of their old ideas might be wrong. Some scientists agreed with Jane. So the first paragraph told us that Jane used to think differently about how people thought about chimpanzees. And then the next paragraph tells us how the scientists felt about her feelings and her different way of thinking. These two groups of sentences, these two paragraphs are related and take all the details one step further. This whole page, the main topic, is about Jane pushing scientists to think differently. And then we hear two different things that she did and two different things that helps support that idea of how she felt differently. We hear about her thinking, and then we hear about the scientists, what they thought about her thinking. So this, friends, tells us that we're starting a new paragraph. If you're confused about how to start a new paragraph, one thing to keep in mind. Every time I see a sentence end, I know that I could be starting a new paragraph. If this sentence was gonna go all the way to the end, like the other ones do, then it wouldn't be a new paragraph. But it stopped and started a new sentence, so I know that this is a all new paragraph. Same with this page. You see how this first sentence stops halfway through and then starts a new one. So these are two different paragraphs. They are two sentences and they are two different paragraphs. So friends, know that when you're reading your story, good readers, the more you grow, the more paragraphs are gonna be on each page. So know that the end of your sentence is a really good way to separate all the different paragraphs. If the paragraphs, if the sentence stops here and you have more space in between your next sentence and the end of the previous sentence, you know that you're starting a new paragraph. Bye friends, talk to you soon.